I'm Tim, welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today we're looking at the Patek Philippe Nautilus 3710-1A, 42 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel. This jumbo-sized 3710-1A can be seen and purchased on our website, watchyouwant.com. And if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, I'm going to get into the historical importance of this sort of sleeper classic in a second, but I want to talk about fit and feel first, because... Before we get into classic status, you have to know that this is the watch for you. For reference, my wrist is 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see the watch is a perfect fit. 42 millimeters means it has outstanding size and stance, but only 8 millimeters thick, it's incredibly low in profile on the wrist, plus with the classic Gerald Genta designed Nautilus water wings and sloped bezel, it actually has a little bit of a notch and then a second step on which even the tightest of sleeves, as you can see, can ride up and over the flank of this case. For a 42 millimeter sports watch, this one has incredible compatibility with formal attire. And it really is a versatile watch in every sense. If your wrist is much smaller than 16 centimeters, you've still probably got an excellent chance of being able to wear this watch and wear it well. Because unlike its close cousin, the similarly Gerald Gent designed Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, this one actually doesn't have the stiffness inherent in the integrated bracelet at the lugs. Now you can see just how dramatically the bracelet can pull down without any kind of contortion or wrangling. So it can flow around a smaller wrist far more easily than something like a Royal Oak Jumbo. There's a real ergonomic distinction here that's believed by the similarity of the watches in an aesthetic sense. And the advantage is all to protect the Leap's credit. The bracelet, again, integrated, but so silken, very flexible, very smooth, beautifully finished on the underside with those distinct channels between links that avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. It just has a flexibility to it that really needs to be experienced to be fully appreciated. Put it this way, you have the feel of the heft of metal, but you don't have the stiffness inherent in metal. For that matter, most textile straps and leather straps are going to be stiffer and less flexible than this metal link bracelet, and that is the Patek Philippe craft standard at play. Likewise, the twin deployant clasp, beautifully finished and hollowed out, it's very spare, skeletal, elegant, pared down, but also very sturdy. Now, the closure, because it is double swing arm, is easy to basically fit onto a smaller wrist because you don't have that huge fold over step that can pinch your skin if you are trying to cinch it down tight. And what it also has is a beautiful low profile clamshell closure. So once it's closed, you can hardly see the partition point with the exception of that Calatrava Cross logo. Elegant, beautiful, and an ergonomic win. But the defining feature of this model, the 3710, is believe it or not, the one that you barely notice at first glance, the power reserve. Right here at 12 o'clock, this marked a huge sea change, pun intended, in the history of the Nautilus model. Now, debuted in 1976, four years after its arch rival, again, the Gerald Gent designed Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. The Royal Oak, I should mention, began to adopt complications as early as 1981 with the original perpetual calendar. By the end of the 80s, we were seeing all manner of Royal Oak complications and elaborated models. The Nautilus, by comparison, didn't gain its first non-date complication until 1998 with the model you see here, 42 millimeters with a little bit of an offbeat Roman numeral treatment. It's almost as if Patek Philippe wanted to draw attention away from that power reserve. The company, while capable and creative, is also conservative, and the power reserve is very discreet. The way it works is also a little bit counterintuitive. As you wind the watch, both the hand and that little metallic Nike-style swoosh move. I'll try to get an angle on the dial, but it's kind of hard to see against the matte black base, but there is a slight cutout for the power reserve disc, so both the disc with that metallic graduated scale and the hand move in concert as you wind up and discharge the power reserve of 48 hours. But Patek's different treatment of this dial with the classical railroad track outer minute and seconds chapter ring outboard of the Roman numerals gives it a slightly different look than a traditional jumbo. And again, it draws the emphasis away from the power reserve. But there is an advantage Right here, we have a very capable sports watch, 120 meters or 400 feet water resistant. Try that with an AP Jumbo. 
This watch also features fully loomed Roman numerals and baton hands. So yes, you do have a fully loomed hour track and hour and minute hands in the sports watch tradition. Combine that with the useful power reserve to keep track of the 48 hour power autonomy with automatic winding and you've got a great candidate for your one watch, your one Nautilus, or your one Patek Philippe if you can only have one. Being virtually an ultra thin in case profile with a versatile stainless steel and black dial combo, there is nothing that you can wear with this watch that doesn't look right with this watch. Heck, you can wear this thing at the beach in a bathing suit and look absolutely natural because it has that sports watch stance and the sports watch durability factor. What it also has is a movement worthy of a sports watch. It's based on Patek Philippe's caliber 330, this one the slash 196 SC with power reserve. So you have the 48 hour power reserve, you have automatic winding, 3 hertz or 21,600 vibrations per hour. You also have a gyro max balance, so free sprung, very resilient, it can shake off the, the shocks, the traumas of life on the wrist that a sports watch is likely to face. Again, that's why Rolex uses all free sprung movements in their sports watches. Likewise, you get that standard of durability with the Patek Philippe, but you get a standard of finish surpassing any Rolex. Also a Geneva seal caliber, although this is a one-piece monoblock case in the tradition of the original Nautilus Jumbo, inside the movement's finished as though it were ready for scrutiny at a moment's notice. Gorgeous perlage, anglage, Cote de Genève, polished screws that cost $20 a piece. That's what you're getting in this movement. As fine on the inside as it is on the outside, bracelet, dial, and case, this watch is the total package. And I do want to talk a little bit about that monoblock case concept. When a watchmaker works on this watch, the bezel and the bezel gasket actually interlock with the wings. That was the logic of the original design. Originally registered to the Stern family as a patent, the Stern's owning Patek Philippe, it was in fact designed as an engineering and stylistic concept by the watch's designer, Gerald Genta. And the wings are functional on these 3700 series watches. The screws actually interlock to hold the bezel down to the wings. The wings form the point of junction with the case, which like I said is a bowl, a stainless steel monoblock with a non-removable circular case back. So everything goes in through the front, the bezel cinches, its down, cinches it down on the gasket, and the screws hold the pressure. That's why this watch has so much water resistance, despite being ultra thin and fine. So you're really getting something that, although a little bit quirky from an aesthetic standpoint, is, in terms of engineering and build-out, closer to the vision of the designer than any of the contemporary Nautilus models. And it's a sort of embryonic classic. Being the first complicated Nautilus model, this is the reason we now have the 5724s, the 5712s, its predecessor, the 3712, the 5980 chronograph models. All of them can trace their lineage to this humble power reserve with date. A landmark model, it's a collectible classic that you can buy today. The Patek Philippe Nautilus Power Reserve, reference 3710-1A, the collectible classic of the future that you can buy today on WatchYouWant.com.